Cuban hospital where he's receiving treatment. He's seen here talking animatedly with his two daughters. But back home in Caracas, are still concerned about his absence. Monica Villamizar has more from the Venezuelan capital. A mass rally organized by the Socialist Party's youth. Chavez supporters danced and marched as an expression of commitment to the president. He may be receiving treatment for cancer, many said, but he will prevail. Commander Chavez will recover, he is our hope, but he is also the hope of Latin American countries and the hope for so many countries. The festive mood contrasts with the uncertainty looming over the country. Chavez has not specified a return date, and his foreign minister suggested it could take months before he can return from Cuba. Analysts say a prolonged absence of the charismatic leader could result in loss of support. It has certainly created much speculation and vulnerability. Handing subsidies for Venezuela's tourists is one of the reasons why Hugo Chavez has been so popular in this country. All these people are waiting in line to collect a bond like this, and this can be exchanged for construction materials to build their homes. The interesting thing here is that the person handing these bonds is not a member of Chavez's party. He is the leading member of the opposition. Governor Enrique Capriles is staging an official act that some may view as part of his campaign. He wants to become president next year, but for that, he needs to capture Chavez's base. Let me be clear, the problem of Venezuela has nothing to do with Chavez's health. Venezuela's problem is that this government is inefficient. But the hearts of these young Venezuelans are with their president. Hundreds wrote get well soon wishes on balloons before releasing them into the sky. For the time being, it seems there is no other way to send messages to their leader. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Caracas.